Welcome Classic Rock fans to a short discussion about the possible reforming of Van Halen. Of course the cat was let out of the bag by Jason Newstead, formerly of Metallica, who was uh, invited to be involved with discussions regarding this project and the, uh, and the Van Halen brand. But uh, these discussions faltered with him uh, eventually deciding he didn't want anything to do with it. In fact, he went on to say, uh, how could you, he asks, uh, nobody can top that, so how do you show it on? I didn't want it to be viewed as just a money grab, and it kind of all just fizzled away. However, it comes to light that Joe Satrani has been invited to take part, which he has confirmed today on numerous websites. Uh, Joe Satriani is an incredible guitarist. Uh, I have no doubt that he, he has the um, ability to play uh, in keeping with that sort of Van Halen sound tradition. However, the bigger issue here is how we all would feel about that, about Van Halen going out as Van Halen. Or would they go out as Van Halen? Or would it just be a tribute to Van Halen? Uh, that seems to be unclear so far. I suspect the money is in uh, going out as a, as the band. I mean, some people say, well, how can you... I mean, there are bands out there that are, are playing with uh, very, very little resemblance or link to uh, any semblance of that classic lineup that they once had, uh, just kind of squeezing the last bit of life they can out of uh, a specific uh, idea or brand, as I've said, but... Uh, this would have, uh, at least they would have Alex Van Halen on drums, because that's the issue with the name, really. It's like John Bon Jovi being replaced in a name, band that's effectively named after him. Uh, so obviously uh, they, they would still have the drummer, wouldn't they? Uh, Alex uh, Van Halen, uh, Joe Satriani on, on guitar. It would be nice if they did do this, if they brought back Michael Anthony as well. I'd like to see uh, him involved in this project. The project, of course, would also involve uh, apparently former frontman David Lee Roth. Now, there are issues there as well. I mean, uh, I, as far as I understand, David Lee Roth has been experiencing some voice issues as well, attendant upon age and lifestyle choices, I guess, but probably age. But that was never an issue really with David Lee Roth. As far as I'm concerned, he was never the strongest singer. It's a bit like Jagger, really. He's more of a shouter than a, an actual singer, really. But, uh, um, I mean, he was just uh, just an like Jagger. He was an incredible frontman. And, he, you know, very much about the acrobatics and stage presence and uh, antics he used to get up to on, on that stage. You, just couldn't be, you were just absolutely transfixed by him. You weren't just absolutely face-melted by the, uh, the tsunami of sound that came from the band. Uh, However, um, I don't know if you can get up to all that sort of stuff anymore, and I don't know if um, men 60 plus should be wearing spandex anymore. So it comes back to that question again. Given the fact that uh, you would have David Lee Roth, I don't know if it's Michael Anthony would be involved or not, you'd have Alex Van Halen on drums, and uh, Joe Satriani on guitar, should they go out and call themselves Van Halen? That's the question. Or should they just go out and uh, as a tribute to Van Halen? thoughts on this matter anyway I suppose you know that lineup would have more currency as a lineup than many bands as I've said but there are certain bands that if you take one so much as one member who was so key so key to that band's identity that the band cannot possibly survive in any credible form afterwards uh, Queen might be viewed as a possible example of that uh, um, not, not taking anything away from Adam, Adam Lambert of course but uh, I think most people view uh, once Freddie died, kind of he took Queen with him. So that's that's the uh, thought here: is is uh, how people perceive this and how they choose to present it. Will it be as Jason Newstead suggested, become a bit of a cash grab? Of course, Joe Satriani reveals it even speaking to uh, Alex Van Halen and David Lee Roth for almost a year now, as regards doing something. In fact, if I may quote. Uh, all I can really say about it is that if it does happen, I know we'll make the greatest thing ever for the fans and we'll celebrate together not only the great Eddie Van Halen, but the legacy that the band created, the amazing amount of music and the goodwill and the good vibes they create as a band. Goodwill that they create as a band? Anyway, I'd love your thoughts on this. I'd love your thoughts on the on Van Halen in general, but specifically this idea of a reformation with Joe Satriani filling uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen's shoes. Joe Satriani, of course, has been commenting on this as part of uh, the promotion for his new album called The Elephants of Mars. 
Anyway, you've been watching a short by classic album review. I urge you to do as I always do to click like, subscribe, and to uh, check some of the links below this video for ways you can support the wonderful, wonderful work done at this channel. Other than that, just uh, stay well, healthy, enjoy the summer. But more importantly than all that, of course, is that you keep listening. <laughs>